Sports. It's in the game. From historic Royal Liverpool Golf Club, EA Sports is so proud to bring you continuing coverage of the world of golf. Alongside Frank Navalo, I'm Rich Lerner, and partner, you and I have called a lot of rounds of golf through the years. I know there's always something that piques your interest. How about today? Rich, every day brings you a chance, a chance to do something special. And when we get to sit in this perch, that's what I look for. And I don't want to see the, the head going down. I want to see that every single shot is a chance to do something special. That could be a chip. Maybe the chip goes in. Maybe it's a 30-footer that goes in. Maybe a drive gets rifled down the field. Do something special. Oh, that needed a kick, but that will end up in the short grass here to start things out. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. He's got 115 yards to the front of this green, 121 to the hole, pin front left so he can take dead aim. Uh, it was a good strike. I could tell that by the uh, sound as the ball came off the club. But it's that little bounce and check. Well done. Five feet now for birdie. Oh, goodness, that is too bad. That would have been a good birdie, but not to be. So he'll finish up for par and shake of the head there. He had a good look at an opening birdie, but he'll settle for a four. The second at 453 yards. This is a tough hole. Precision is a must off the tee because the landing area is a small one and features three very penal bunkers. The green is also well protected with three more bunkers and the putting surface itself is anything but flat. Well, that drive was enormous. I know it's in the rough, but that is long. So he should be able to get a full club on this, but the ball below his feet for his second. Oh, this could be good. I always looked inside that 15 feet circle. Anything inside that was going to be a good shot. So in my book, that's a good shot. A dead on look here for Birdie. It is early, but he 
kind of needed that one, had to take advantage here, and he did just that. So good work, and he's one under through two. The third of four consecutive par fours to start this front side is the 426-yard third hole. Hot bunkers aren't the problem here as they were in the first two holes, but thick rough is. A tee shot that takes the dog leg too sharply can leave one with a very difficult approach or even worse, wind up out of bounds. Ooh, and that went straight down. That's going to be tough from there. The lie is not a friendly one, but still a chance to get on in two with a good shot here. Ah, the ball was always heading a little bit right, but inside 10 feet, there's nothing wrong with that on this hole. From the heavy stuff to here, now this for birdie. Right by the hole. The longer putts, you don't mind as much. The short ones, they tend to sting. Bit disappointing. Did all the hard work getting it out of the thick, eh? Hey? Has to settle for par. That's so nearly a birdie, but par is all he'll have to show for it. The last of the consecutive par fours to grace this front side is this one, the 367-yard fourth. It's the shortest of the four by a considerable margin. Most golfers should be able to cover the fairway bunkers and be left with just a short iron in. Yeah, nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. So not a whole lot left to go here as he'll set up his second with his par four. And that's not exactly ideal, far from a tap-in for his par. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. Not that time. Pretty good effort, but it'll wander a couple of feet by. So he will walk off with his five, a drop shot here at the par four fourth. Now to the first of Royal Liverpool's three par fives. It is the dog leg left, 520 yard fifth hole. Tee shots that can navigate the gorse to the left and the pot bunkers to the right should open up this green to be reachable in two. By most accounts, this is the best birdie opportunity on this opening nine. And that one not quite able to hang on. It's into the bunker. That is a marvelous shot. Look at that, Frank. You are sometimes on a par five. You're happy to just be home, maybe 50, 60 feet away. You take your two putts and move on. Uh, here, you're thinking about Eagle getting out of there with a three. Yeah, just imagine if he can roll this one in. What a well-played hole it will be. The first par three of the round is here at the 201-yard six. Two pot bunkers left and one right of the green are to be avoided at all costs. That's gonna be on the putting surface and a birdie look straight ahead. 
Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. And this is a putt pro's practice for hours. Slightly uphill and dead straight. Oh, that is a picture of class right there. A tee shot on the green and then a long putt goes down for birdie. The seventh now at 481 yards of par four. Hot bunkers left and right are definitely in playoff fatigue. Even if you end up in the fairway, the second shot is a demanding one, partially blind over a large tract of gorse and potentially two pot bunkers left. And we'll have to see here, it looked like that ball hopped from the lighter rough into the heavier stuff. You got to be careful not to catch the hosel here as he lines up his second. Well, we had a chance to look at the lie and uh, well, just getting that ball in the green itself was uh, was really an accomplishment. Good shot. Good stroke, just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. Disappointment there. I'll brush it in, and that'll be just a par. On to the eighth, a par four at 436 yards. It features a familiar refrain, avoid the pot bunkers and the tall gorse. Doing so with your drive should leave a short iron in to a green protected by one bunker left and two to the right. It might be in the rough, but that was absolutely crushed. So after the missed fairway, his second now from the rough at eight. Twelve feet still to go. Yep, that's a good job right there. Don't overthink it. He didn't, and he'll come away with a par. The ninth hole at 218 yards of par three. Bunkers front left and right protect a fairly narrow green that features more than its share of humps and hollows. Yeah, that one came in a little hot. It's safely on, but it'll be a long look coming up. Iona's down there. This for birdie. Well, they often say it's the toughest putt in golf. There's not a lot to it. I think you can take dead aim. Oh, yeah. What a putt there. It's in from long distance for birdie here at the ninth. The back nine here at Royal Liverpool kicks off with a long one, 507 yards. It's a par four. The landing area is a tough one to navigate. It's narrow, it has mounds, and it has thick rough left and right. Up near the green, the bunker front and right is incredibly deep and must be avoided at all costs. And that will do just fine. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. You 
You can't go wrong with finding the middle of the green. That's well done. Iona, this a birdie putt. Well, for a long putt like this, there's really not a whole lot to it. I think you'll fancy his chances at this one. Yeah, he had a pretty good run at that, but it won't go down. Still pretty good from there. Nearly a birdie, but par is all he'll have to show for it. The 11th runs along the beach to the left, and this is a tough driving hole. A par four at 392 yards. The short length will likely entice most to air it out, but the more prudent play might be a three wood or an iron because the small landing area gets tighter the further down the fairway you travel. It all looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Good chance to get one in close from here. This is second. That ball was waving at the hole as it whizzed past. Gonna have to be a little careful with this one. It's for birdie. Yep, not bad. Had to put a little extra into that one, but got it there. That's a pretty good effort. Disappointment there. I'll brush it in, and that'll be just a par. The 12th at 449 yards is a dog like left par four. Those that try to chew off too much of that dog leg could find themselves in trouble if they're unable to carry the gorse. The approach will be to an elevated green that slopes fairly severely from back to front. just did not want to settle. It'll wind up rolling off the fairway and into the heavy stuff. <laughs> Made excellent contact from that lie, but Frank, as you know, it's still difficult to control where the ball goes and how far it goes. Yeah, you've got to have such a strong left hand when you're trying to get through that rough, because if the grass grabs the hosel a little bit, just pulls it, so it sends that ball to the left. This one measures out to 15 feet. needs to slow a bit. Okay, that, that's still going to be a good four feet, though, coming back. Okay, damage done on the tee shot, but a good recovery to salvage a bogey. The 13th is a par three of 194 yards. It yields another panoramic look at Kilbury Island and the estuary beyond. But this can be a tricky little hole. Tee shots that land in that front right pot bunker rarely lead to a par. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either sitting up in the short grass. This one gonna have to stop quickly. It's his second. Take pots that length for granted, but that's in for a par. 
The 14th is a dog leg left, par four at 454 yards. Ideally, your drive should stay as close to the dog leg as possible, but middle of the fairway is just fine if it can avoid any of the four pot bunkers in the landing zone. The green, thankfully, is bunker free, but it does fall off somewhat sharply to the right. That is straight into the thick stuff. Pretty shaggy lie here as he'll try to muster up something for his second. All in all, that's a good shot. Anytime you hit in the rough, it's always a little bit of a lottery. Could have even jumped out a little more and perhaps gone even closer. This for Birdie now at 14. And this certainly would be a bonus if it goes in. You just need to make sure you get it there and give yourself a chance. Never up, never in. Oh no, I think he was about ready to walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. That's nearly a birdie, but far is all he'll have to show for it. The 15th is the longest hole on the course, checking in at a full 620 yards. The fairway is fairly generous by Royal Liverpool standards, though it does feature bunkers left and right. The issues tend to develop on the second shot, where you'll need to commit one way or the other to going for it or laying up. This up the right side off the tee. Oh, talk about a friendly kick. I never got those. It could have stayed in the rough for the same price. Going to take a big poke to get there, but a chance with his second to the par five. Four feet now for birdie. Okay, good work from off the green, and that's how you walk away with a birdie here at the par five. The final three hole stretch begins with the par four 16th at 461 yards. Most players should be able to move their tee shots beyond the three fairway bunkers, but more await up toward the green, five of them in total. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. Now, in my book, that's a good shot. You could really aim at the middle of just about every single green. If you did it all day long, some of those would finish up close. And you'd have plenty of birdie putts. Not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. Disappointment there. I'll brush it in, and that'll be just a par. Now to one of the more visually stunning holes on the course, the par 317 at 136 yards. This has everything you want in a classic par 3 and a lot that you don't, including steep runoffs, deep bunkers, and a tricky green to putt on. Oh, 
Oh yeah, nice shot there, right of the hole, and he'll have that for his birdie. Yeah, the good play continues. Now to five under on the day. This is a big time test. The closing hold here at Royal Liverpool, a demanding par five at 609 yards. Two deep bunkers need to be avoided off the tee. Then the fun begins. A second shot needs to navigate a tough dog leg to the right before it emerges in front of gathered masses surrounding a green with no fewer then five deep pot bunkers in play. This may be a touch right. Ball's back in the fairway. I guess it's better to be lucky than good. What a good shot that is. Home in two on the par five. Remember, made eagle earlier in the round, Frank. That may be a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. Oh, what a putt there. It's in for eagle here at 18. That will mean it is a round of 64, seven under par, absolutely terrific. So for Frank Nabilo and all of us here at EA Sports, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now.